This episode is brought to you by Simply Safe. So are we supposed to start the podcast? One, two, three. Ah! Right off the bat. Crushed it. And listener pumps. Attorney at law just came from the courthouse. Oh, it was so fucking hot. I thought I was going to die. And I bet you look so lawyerly I and do. academic and professional. Well, I am an ap- academic. I think you forget. <laughs> I, there's no question. <laughs> I'm probably going to be a professor next year. There's n- at no, Harvard. No question. I mean, and I don't think we remind the listeners enough about your academic prowess. That's right. I you mean, know, it's always just, you know, kind of me browbeating you here and there about <laughs> stuff, but you are an attorney and a hot one at that. Well, thank you. And temperature a hot for sure. Podcasting star. <laughs> An icon. Absolutely. An icon in the podcasting world. Pumps. You know, we did that um, next door episode. So fun. People loved it. Yeah, it's so good. I've been just creeping on my neighborhood one just for shits and giggles. Okay, let's welcome everyone to I've Had It. I'm Jennifer. I'm Angie. And she's the star of our show, the Princess (laughs) Diana of Podcasting attorney at law, litigator at large, boss bitch of the podcasting world. Kylie's here and Richard is still on vacation. So Morgan is subbing in. Kylie, what's been going on with you? Not much. I just have to deal with you guys every day. (laughs) Not the funnest. It's a treat. It really is. (laughs) It's a treat. When I'm out in public, I get asked, are they really, are they really nice? Are they really funny? I'm like, yep. What cracks me up is the first time you were just so taken aback that we're huggers. Oh, my gosh. You almost sounded like you said hookers. Taken aback? I was taken aback by that as well. Huggers. (laughs) Oh, huggers. I thought you said hookers instead of huggers. Taken aback by the fact that we're hookers? (laughs) (laughs) That would take me aback. (laughs) All right. So what I think we need to do is just deep dive right into these again. So Linda posts on her neighborhood app. Flag Day with an American flag emoji. Okay. Tomorrow is Flag Day. So don't forget to put out your American flag flag emoji. MAGA! Three exclamation (laughs) points. And then Kate responds, go fuck yourself, Linda. (laughs) Oh my God, Kate! (laughs) Killed it! With a smiley face emoji. So what did Linda say back? That's all I got. I didn't get any any further. No back and forth, no fist fighting, nothing. Typically, from what I've seen on the World Wide Web of the MAGA people, like they can't stop. I mean, it's right. like they have a table of cocaine in front of them. Right. And they're, they have no like cartilage left in their nose and they cannot stop in the comment <laughs> section. It is explosive <laughs> diarrhea. So I imagine, I just saw this cut and pasted on the internet. I imagine that Linda probably completely unraveled and quite possibly still is doing, right. a, a, you know, a cocaine bender about this flag day. <laughs> I like Kate. I love, I love Kate. Kate. Go fuck yourself, Linda. <laughs> I love it that she didn't try to suit it up. She didn't try to do it anonymously. Yes. And I also think what Kate's getting to here is instead of trying to argue with a crazy person that's right. a member of a cult. And you, but you want to say something back, keep it simple. Right. Straightforward. That I, they can understand. Go fuck yourself, Linda. <laughs> That's it. That's beautiful. Instead of like, you know, Donald Trump is a fascist and mentally unstable and a malignant narcissist. And because right. that is not going to penetrate with Linda. Right. You know, Linda's got, you know, Trump and all these people in her spank bank for God knows whatever reason. Ugh. And Kate just immediately was just like, go fuck yourself, Linda. <laughs> Smiley face emoji. <laughs> The smiley face emoji is the best. Okay, Kylie, what do you have? I've got one right up the same alley. This one's from John. All caps. Urgent. Help. My son visited and blocked Fox on my TV. I don't trust digital or any of the iTunes. Fox is all that's allowed in this household. How can I unblock Fox? I told my son I'm taking him out of the will. (laughs) (laughs) How much do you love the son? I mean, he's taking action. Honestly, honestly, it is such, the son is really smart. And that's like a total intervention because Fox is causing brain rot in like the (laughs) boomer generation. I think the average age of a Fox viewer is like 65. 
Okay. These people should be retired, enjoying their grandchildren, right. approaching retirement, um, enjoy traveling. Right. And instead, they're mad. They are so fucking mad. Yeah. And here's the thing about like Fox during the whole COVID thing. And then the Trumpers started all the anti-vax thing, which was weird because that I did not like Trump. I didn't really approve of anything he did in his presidency, but they got that vaccine out quickly. They did. And so that's the one thing that he kind of did well or right. funded for it to be done well. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. He wouldn't do it. He science. didn't do it. But that's the one. And then they're all like anti-vaxxers. But at Fox, you had to be vaccinated to go in the building. That would drive me crazy. And so these people are just sold a jet stream of, of bullshit, bullshit that yeah. the anchors themselves don't believe. There's text messages that have been uncovered where Sean Hannity browbeats Trump. Um. The Tucker Laura. Carlson, Laura, they all talk about what a nutty is. Right. But the the Trumpers, the old boomer Trumper sect, they're all just such raving lunatics. And then they just cave. And it's like, that's, I mean, they pitch such temper tantrums that everybody just has to, oh, we can't upset these privileged white people. Right. So we're going to keep throwing them this red meat to rile them up. It's gross. It's gross. I praise the sun. Praise the sun. Sun's five stars. Five stars for him. Okay, here's one. It's a picture of a um, what looks like a canine. Okay, okay. and I'm I'm going to go ahead and say it's a coyote. Okay. So somebody photographed a coyote walking in the middle of the street. And they post the photograph and then they put warning: no chances, aggressive dog, no leash. <laughs> This dog just charged at my dog. I'm alerting animal control now, and I will press charges. I will prosecute. <laughs> <laughs> How do you prosecute a dog? I don't know. I mean, that's like, who are you prosecuting? Like, this is a wild animal. A wild animal. I do know that if your dog bites another, a human, that they can sit, give your dog the death penalty if the city comes and picks them up. They've had trials over that in municipal court that I've heard of. But in this case, they ha even if it was an owned coyote, you couldn't see the owner for him being aggressive with the dog. That's just stupid. I'm just so glad I started off <laughs> this podcast today reminding our listener that you are an attorney at right. law. And yeah. I have seen the death penalty cases over in Muni. She is a canine death penalty attorney listener. Abdicate. Ab abdicate. Abdicate for... The pet owner. Advocate? Advocate. I'm advocating for the pet owner not to have their dog killed. I, I, that's what, you know what? I think that that's what you should do. In all my free time? Yeah, a death penalty, a canine death penalty advocate. Right. That's exactly what I want to spend my time doing. I think that, you know, I think number one entry of the permanent record. Kylie, could you please pull out the permanent record? <laughs> okay, top of the first page says... Pumps is not a good pet owner. So now you think I had to like redeem myself? Yes. <laughs> this is the Pumps Canine Redemption Tour. Right. You can go represent dogs and maybe they'd be like rather juicy trials. Like, you know, maybe some guy was a total dick to somebody's dog, provoked the dog. The dog acted in self-defense, but then the dog is getting sentenced to the death penalty. Right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Pumps, attorney at law, canine advocate, da, 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 da. Some of our younger listeners don't know about the People's Court. Oh, that was a great one. And that was the theme song that I was doing. The People's yeah. Court. Remember Doug Llewellyn? Yes, Doug Llewellyn. Totally remember him. Yeah, y'all will have to look that up now. on YouTube if you're younger. It was this court show with Judge Wapner. Yes. And, and it was called the People's Court. And they would go in and they would sit in front of Judge Wapner and then he'd decide on it. And then as they were leaving, there was Doug Llewellyn. He would interview <laughs> <laughs> the plaintiff and the defendant. And this was like back in the day when you had to watch what was on TV. Right. You had no choices. Like you couldn't like now it's so great. You can be like, I want to watch the people's court and you right. could go find it on the Internet or on TV. But we had to watch what was on TV. So we watched a lot of bad television, bad television that was so bad. It was good. Right. Doug and it's Llewellyn. like ingrained into our 1980s memory. Yes. Doug Llewellyn, Judge Wapner, the people's court. Kylie, have you ever heard of this? I've heard of it, but I thought you were doing the Law and Order theme song. <laughs> no, that was the people's court. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Wasn't it? Yes.
Yes. As they walked in. Yeah, as they and walked opened in. the door. Yeah, it was really good. It was good. It was so bad. It was good. Pumps, we're so busy with this podcast. And yes. you being the star of the show, it's important that your hair always look fantastic. And I'm so glad that we have discovered Kitsch with its cult-like following satin pillowcases, caps, and eye masks. Great for your hair and skin while you sleep. So you can work on your beauty while you sleep. And I will take all the help I can get. And the silk pillowcases are fabulous for eyelash extensions. Fabulous. And the rice water shampoo bars, which can improve your overall hair growth and density. Most reviewers say they will never use bottle shampoo again. Right now, Kitsch is offering you 30% off your entire order at mykitsch.com slash had it. That's right. 30% off anything and everything at mykitsch, K-I-T-S-C-H dot com slash had it. One more time mykitch.com slash had it for 30% off your order. Pumps, with summer here, our skin's been taking a beating. It is the perfect time to take your body care routine to the next level, especially when you're traveling. Osea is the best. They have the best oils, scrubs, and lotions. My skin just glows. I'm telling you, you should try the body care set at a reduced price. Mm -hmm. The set has a value of $78, but right now you can get it for only $52. That's 33% in savings. And when you use our exclusive code, you'll get an additional 10% off, saving even more. I absolutely love their product. It's clean, vegan, cruelty-free, and climate-neutral certified. So you don't have to have any guilt when using this to make your skin look fantastic. This summer, take your glow to go with clean vegan skincare and body care from Osea. Right now, we have a special discount just for our listeners. Get 10% off your first order site-wide with code HADIT at oseamalibu.com. You'll get free samples with every order and free shipping on orders over $60. Head to oseamalibu.com and be sure to use the code HADIT for your 10% off. Pumps, listener. I am so much happier and I sleep so much better at night ever since we have partnered you up with the folks over at Simply Safe, knowing that your house is secure and sound and that the star of our show is safe at all times literally makes the world sleep better. I have to say, I really have enjoyed having Simply Safe. I do feel safer and I feel really comfortable with the system. How could you not with the 24-7 live guard protection that is made possible by the new smart alarm wireless indoor camera and is available with the fast protect monitoring plan. Listener, if you would like to beef up your security right now, I've had it listeners get a special 20% off any Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect monitoring. This huge offer is for a limited time only. So visit simplysafe.com slash had it. That's simplysafe.com slash had it. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Okay, Kylie, who's next? Up next, we've got Linda. She writes, Question. My grandson is saying WAP. I think that is how it's spelled over and over again and will not tell me what it means. Does it mean white Anglo Protestant? <laughs> because I am Catholic and he knows this would get on my nerves <laughs> with a cross emoji. Oh, oh bless her heart. Bless her heart. I mean, she's in for a rude awakening when she finds out what that is. A rude awakening. Oh, my gosh. White Anglo-Protestant. Who even thinks that's an acronym anymore? Well, Ever. A lot of those Fox viewers we talked about a couple questions ago. <laughs> We're so insulated from it. But, I mean, they are loud and proud. I would have to think the WAP song was all over Fox News. Was it not? Does anybody know? It was. I think Ben, Sh yeah, it was. They okay. lost their mind. But here's what I have to say about the WAP song. Generally, these people are like, we're patriots and we support freedom. You, uh, America is all about opportunity. You can come to America and you have opportunity. So here's a black woman that writes a song. It goes viral beyond globally. Right. Everybody sings it. Laughs all the way to the bank. Yes. Total American dream shit. And they just have a couple problems with it. <laughs> and so therefore, the whole freedom capitalist thing, you know, they squash that down. And then the Puritan, 
Puritanism rises up. It's not applicable to anyone that doesn't believe what they want to believe. Exactly. Only applicable to our people and what we think and our ideals. That's right, counselor. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, it's my turn. Okay. The WAP, though, man. Anne Post. The subject is moms of middle school boys. Okay. We have a lot of young people vaping. Signs to look for include new friends, <laughs> frequent use of air freshener, taking book bag everywhere, hanging out at Pizza Hut, <laughs> strange Uber charges on your bank statement, unusually tired, suddenly walking everywhere. <laughs> be on the alert. Be on the alert. Don't be afraid to search in their book bag, their rooms. I have the names of a few boys that have been vaping. P.M. She does not. Wait, hang on. P.M. Not D.M. P.M. me if you would like more information. Several things to unpack here. I don't know why she's dragging Pizza Hut. Right. What Pizza Hut do? They're serving pizza. That's it. She's the dragging Uber. Yeah. Walking everywhere. That's good exercise. And how else are they going to get there? They're in middle school. And then the, a red flag, and I brought this up a few episodes ago. I think you can pull it back. The PM. The PM. Right. This is, this is what we have here. Now, listen, we are mothers of sons. And my oldest son, I remember finding out, like finding a vape. And I'm just like, you can't do that. Here's why. X, Y, Z. When I was in high school, I started smoking cigarettes. Right. And some of this stuff, it's like, it's just the normal growth that people go through right. in life. You experiment with alcohol, vapes. In our day, it was cigarettes. I think cigarettes are making a comeback or so. I've heard cigarettes are just too easy to bust, though, because you can smell right, it. Right, you can smell it from a mile away. But this is the type of mom, when, when I talk about power moms that drive me crazy. There you go. She's Anne is mom. it. What about why don't you just keep track of your own kid, Anne? And mind your own fucking business. She put this on the neighborhood app. I know. That's what I'm thinking. Like, are, now you're going to, like, start all the neighbors thinking these kids are bad because they're walking I to and fro? I think some of these people are just so low IQ. They confuse, <laughs> like, the neighborhood app with Twitter, with Instagram, with Facebook. LinkedIn, all those all things. All of it. Yes. You know, it's just, like, it's just word vomit micromanaging, trying to control other people. And if some mom called me and gave me all of this stuff, number one, I'd probably ghost her. Right. And number two, I'd be appreciative that she showed me exactly what right. a psychopathic power mom she is, because this is the type of person I want to avoid. 100%. At it's all like costs. She, she put her freak flag out. You see it. Now you can avoid her. How about the no new friends and the backpack? I mean, my kid goes everywhere with his backpack because he has changed for basketball, changed for, I mean, that he changes 10 times a day. It's nuts. It's she nuts. needs to control her own kid. And Guess what's going to happen else's. to her kid when he goes to college? Oh, my God. Crystal meth. <laughs> I was going to say the Angie Sullivan College experience, <laughs> but that did not include crystal meth. <laughs> everything, pretty much everything else. All right. All right. This person wrote, help with cat. Okay. So I have a problem. My cat Tiffany loves to be an indoor outdoor cat. <laughs> the problem is that every time she goes out, she ends up in a fight that she loses 100% of the time <laughs> <laughs> because she is so small and untrained. Does anyone have any experience with feline self-defense training? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a feline trainer that you recommend? I feel like that if she just had a few basic combat skills, she could hold her own a little better. Okay, first of all, what kind of nut jobs thinks there's cat martial arts self-defense training? That's the biggest red flag to me. There is there are there are trainings. There are pet training. I mean, there are dogs that you see at airports that have full-time jobs. No, I understand that, but like Self-defense training for a cat? I know. I kind of admire the post. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I think she falls in the category of she's not understanding what this is for. This is to say there's a house on fire three doors down. Not right, right. But I also, I, I also kind of appreciate her advocating for her cat to learn some skills that maybe she's not able to teach her at home. Keep her fucking inside. That's it. Your cat's a pussy. The cat enjoys going inside. outside. The cats are pussies. Well, keep your cat in the backyard. Well, cats jump over fences, pumps. Get it on a leash or something. Take it for a walk. You don't put cats on leashes. I don't know. I hate cats, so I don't really care. What about the cat being named Tiffany? Love that. <laughs> I, 
that. My cat Tiffany. My cat Tiffany. I love that. Okay, here we go. I've got one. Chickens. To my neighbor that complains to the city about my chickens, I want to thank you because I didn't know I'm allowed to have up to 25. <laughs> and I don't even have half of that. So thanks for the complaint. I learned something today. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> that is fantastic because that gets that little uh, complainer, that busybody, that Gladys Kravitz, just like, oh, I only have 12. Now I'm going to have 25, fucker. Up. Yeah. And th- then I'll throw eggs at your house. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> she want me that. All right, Kylie, what's next? Okay, we've got a bike posted for sale, a Schwinn Giant Cypress bike. Okay. Hardly ever used. Ex-husband was busy riding other things. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. She just called his ass out. You know what's so, some, some peak internet is when couples are, are fighting right or divorcing you feel like when you're having those problems because that's all you feel that's right. all you think about you wake up to it you go to sleep to it you think everybody else is too <laughs> so then you start updating these things online and right. like peak social media for me personally is when i see people that their relationship is deteriorating right. and they start posting updates about it on the World Wide <laughs> Web. And I know that that is really a horrible character trait of mine. Right. I know it is, listener, but I have a feeling that you all might just enjoy it too. Yeah, it's good stuff. I don't have that. I mean, I've never done that, like found somebody on my own, but you just wouldn't believe the Facebook messages and texts and posts that clients bring to me. I mean, people share way too much shit on the internet. Uh Like, I'm just like, this is not on the internet. Like, was this a (laughs) private message? And they're like, no, it was posted. I'm just like, who the fuck is that dumb? A lot of people. Oh, yeah. And then the problem is they post it. And the time that they might take an hour, two, three, four hours to have buyer's remorse, right? Right. It's been screenshot and texted. Right. I mean, you know, it's bad. that ship is sailed You're at done. that point. And so like this poor lady, you know, with the bike, it's people just, know who she is. Right. And then probably, you know, she slept on it. She woke up and she thought, God, that's fucking dumb. I kind of like it. You know, and then I know, but you, you know, at some point when you're trying to get over stuff, you have to work towards getting over it and not trying to get everybody on your side. Oh, for sure. And so at some point, hopefully, she's like, God, that's done. Well, here we are talking about it on our podcast. Right, bringing it all back <laughs> up for her. Yep. Okay, here's one. Cats seeking employment. <laughs> are you having a rodent problem around your home and property and can't seem to rid yourself of them? Employ a cat. <laughs> The Humane Society of Charlotte is searching for adopters for outdoor community cats. You can learn more by contacting the community cat program manager at, and they list the phone number, and filling out a working cat adoption questionnaire. (laughs) So, you know, I mean, I, again, I, people are doing things with cats that apparently you oppose. Well, I was just kind of thinking about the cat. Like if a cat was going to get rid of a mouse, then I'd be down with that as long as they didn't like leave the mouse on my porch or anywhere. But I don't know. Maybe the cat person and Tiffany the cat need to like connect and Tiffany the cat can get a job, a job, get her off the streets, get her off the streets (laughs) where she's beaten up and abused. Yeah. Tiffany, if she could go to the Charlotte Humane Society, she might get little Tiffany some skills. She might learn some skills that nobody can take from her. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, the cat, the working cat. Now, so they're community cats. Like you don't. I would imagine like a community of feral cats that are. (laughs) Right. But that are fixed, you know, like that. Have their claws. Yeah, that work, you know, they work a few blocks. Right. They work, uh, they're on rodent patrol. So if you employ the cat, you're like responsible for feeding it and vaccinations and all that, I guess. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, we, when we remodeled our first house, I don't know, this is probably like 12, 13 years ago, we moved into an apartment while the house was being remodeled. And there were all these cats that lived around the apartment community. And we fed them like every day. And it was just like a community of feral cats that kept rodents away. And I quite enjoyed them. I mean, we put food out because I like animals. Right. And I'm a good person. 
And I fed them, put wa- food and water out. At the time, I smoked cigarettes. So I'd go out and sit on the balcony, smoke a cigarette, talk to the cat, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> gave it secondhand smoke. And the, so as a working cat with secondhand with smoke, cancer, <laughs> do you have to pay for the medical? <laughs> I used to wonder that about my dogs. Like, are they going to drop dead of lung cancer? And then I'm going to feel guilty. Thank God they haven't. Or my other one died, but it wasn't of lung cancer. It was old age. He probably should have, because that was when you smoked indoors, Bodie. You smoked inside with Bodie? For years. Do you want me to read the first entry of the permanent record again? (laughs) Yeah. Everybody smoked indoors back then. I did. I think we did in college, but post-college, I don't think I ever smoked inside ever again. It was past like the first three or four years, like during law school. Okay. So it would have been the same time frame. But I had Bodie, yeah. And that's when you were killing Bodie? Killing Bodie, but he lived to a ripe old age of 17. Oh, I remember that he dog. He was a sweet dog. He was, so, you were a pretty good pet owner back then. Oh, God, I loved him. I mean, I just didn't get out of bed for three days when he died. Then my father-in-law died, and I didn't even cry. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you sure didn't. <laughs> sure did not. You sure didn't. I remember that phone call. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> That's bad. Okay, here we go. Two guys in front of my door for four minutes. Oh, goodness. They biked into my driveway and then stayed in front of my door for four whole minutes. Seriously, whoever you are, you need to drop off a note or something. The longer you stay, the more suspicious you become. (laughs) And here's a picture of the two boys that I believe are are Mormons. Are Mormons. No question about it. Are Mormons. But I will say this. I have fucking had it with religious solicitations at a door. Yeah, I've had it with all solicitations at the door. I have as well. But the like peak had it of all solicitations is some religious nut at your door. that comes to my door. I remember when we lived at that house that I was talking about, the house on Fenwick before the house we have now, these two Mormons come to my door and I'm like, I'm just completely not interested. And these kids are like 18 years right. old, you know? So it's like, what are y'all putting them? I mean, that's bananas. Right. And they're like, well, no, but we want to. And I go, I'm sorry, kids. I'm not into it. It's not going to happen. Right. Well, what where church do you go to? I'm like, this falls into the none of your business and I don't go to church. And it just, and it kind of goes. So then I like, they're pushy. I send them away. And then my kids are like walking back from the plaza area Uh and my kids bump into these kids (laughs) and these kids are like, yeah, we were just at that house right there. And that woman was so mean. And the kids come home and they're like, mom, you were so mean. I was like, I spared you. Listen, like these poor kids have been just indoctrinated out the wazoo. And this is what their parents and their church are making them do. Right. They'll think they'll go to like hell if they don't do it. Yeah, it's nuts. I did have a solicitation in my neighborhood the other day. The kids and I were coming home, and there was a guy on one of the, what do you call them, the deals that drive themselves. Scooter? Not a, but it's like the two wheels. Moped? He, I don't know. It's like you stand up on it. A scooter. Okay, a scooter. So he's on the scooter, and you can just tell by looking he's selling something. He's kind of looking at the addresses, da, da, da. And I'm like, okay, this guy's selling shit. Do not answer the door. No matter what happens, do not answer the door. So like 30 minutes go by, the doorbell rings. And I'm just like, oh, thank God I prepped everybody. We're not getting out the door. I hear Luke go, I'll get it. And so I scream across the house, do not answer the door. So he stood there for a minute. Then he left. Then he tried to do another sneak attack. But we didn't do it. But I kind of felt bad because you could tell. I mean, it's 105 degrees out. He's running around on a scooter. He had on long pants. Like, miserable job. I feel sorry for him. But I just, I'm never going to answer those doors ever. Or I'm just like, okay, I, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in close it. I always feel bad. I don't. I just kind of like, oh, I feel bad. that Because it's not your fault that you're out here trying to shuck this shit. No, I know. But I think we have to put an end to this like going to somebody's home right or calling their phone like these cold calls that is corporate america needs to be stopped with that i mean it is such an invasion right you know it's like it's if i want something i will go out and get it myself and it'll be my idea but it's all an extension of forced capitalism yeah or google it and go find it it's all forced capitalism which we're on the permanent record for opposing opposing Kylie, what do you have? 
I've got a post from Karen. Okay. And she <laughs> writes, it's been bothering me for a while, so here goes. I'm sick of all the Karen reference remarks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start reporting everyone as harassment till those offenders learn some respect. I'm very kind and patient person, but I'm over it with this. Oh my yep. gosh, she's the biggest Karen on the planet. <laughs> right, because that's not Karen at all. Right. Reporting every single person. That's harassment. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck, Karen? You sound like a moron. <laughs> it's a textbook. Oh yeah. my gosh, that's textbook. That's why they're Karens. Surely, like, if she's real and that isn't somebody on the internet trolling. I mean, you it, you have to question it. We've got somebody who's trying to find their cat martial arts skills. <laughs> <laughs> Pumps, there's no question the Skims thing is totally creating the next generation of underwear for every single body. Agree. I love it. The bras, you don't even know you have them on. I love the racerback bralette, and I ordered it in sand, so it was like it's like a nude color. I'm telling you, it's like I don't have a bra on. It totally hides all the straps if I'm wearing a tank top. It's so comfortable. It's like liberating. I absolutely love their products. The Fits Everybody collection of underwear is super lightweight and molds to your body. The buttery soft fabric stretches to twice its size without ever losing its shape, meaning you get a perfect fit every time. Everything is available in sizes XXS to 4X. Believe the hype. Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims fits everybody, and more best-selling essentials are available now at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. After you place your order, be sure to let them know that we sent you. Select podcast in the survey, and be sure to select our show in the drop-down menu that follows. Pumps, when I would think about you in the past, and I would think about your gut and your bowel movements, I always just thought high-speed train wreck. Yeah, and you are not wrong. Now... When I think about you, I and I think about your gut, I think this woman is a beacon of gut health. Absolutely. Pooping regularly, no bloating, feeling great. The psychobiotic has been amazing. I feel calmer, happier. Couldn't, couldn't be happier with the whole thing. What I love about this product is they have probiotics for dogs. Yes. Which are my biological children. Right. My and, dog loves it. And the Frenchies are on the probiotic and they are thriving, pardon the pun, <laughs> just thrive. <laughs> Listener, if you're ready to take control of constipation, bloat, and stress and live your healthiest life yet, you can get 20% off your first 90-day bottle of Just Calm and Just Thrive probiotic today. Visit JustThriveHealth.com and use promo code HADIT. Okay, here's one, spy flowers. And it's an image of a fence with a sunflower growing up over the fence, looking right into the neighbor's yard. This, okay. My neighbor has this flower peeking into my backyard. I couldn't get close enough to see if there was a camera hidden inside. Is this even legal? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question would be if it's why can't you just climb up on your fence and look into it? That wouldn't be hard. I would imagine this person's probably 80. Well, but I'm also like, what are you doing at 80 that's so newsworthy that anybody would want to see it? People are so worried about being spied on. I mean, most people are boring. I'm boring. Nobody would want to spy on me. Right. Nobody would want to spy on you. But I think it's like if people think that everybody, you know, like, when, when our kids were growing up, when the when my sons were younger, be like, well, everybody thinks this. I'm like, nobody's thinking about you. Everybody's thinking what about everybody's themselves. thinking about them. And it's always like I immediately know that it's bullshit is when, well, everybody thinks. No, they don't. If no. you're pulling out everybody, then you can't find one person. No, you're exactly right. Right. I you mean, know who says that all the time? DT. Uh-huh. Donald Trump. Always. It's always. And everybody. everybody knows it. And it's like, no, they don't because you're a fucking liar. That's right. Yeah. No. Okay. Kylie. This says, poll. What is a power bottom? <laughs> and they write, I went for a walk with my grandkids who are 14 and 15. <laughs> and we walked past these two men walking and one of them was in a shirt that said power bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and my grandkids keep laughing and won't tell me what it means. Help. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's so good. You know, I mean, that is just 
good stuff right there. It's great, great stuff. We went to, uh, back when we were on the television show, remember when we went to the uh, Gay Pride Parade? Yes. And that Baptist church, those hateful Baptist yes. church people were there. And I made a sign to protest the protesters. And my big sign said power bottom with an arrow. And I stood next to the Baptist church yes. people and like called them out for being power bottoms. <laughs> and of course, they just stood there. Right. You know, it's like bananas. Bananas. Okay, here's one. Power bottom. Message to the thief. To the person who stole my plant and stand from my front porch. Grow up. <laughs> I hope you get diarrhea and stub your toe really hard. Don't walk by my house again. Nobody likes you. <laughs> to my deceased grandmother, who was the original owner of the plant, please kill the plant. It's not at home anymore. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about grow up and she wants them to have diarrhea. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Nobody I likes you. I support it. You, the curse, the diarrhea curse, you're all in. I, I do because somebody stole their plant and their stand and they're mad. It was <laughs> it was the deceased grandmother's plant. And then she's like, I hope you get diarrhea and stub your <laughs> toe. Nobody likes you. I kind of support that kind of trolling. The thing is, that's all great and fine and well, but you can't start it with grow up. I support it. I mean, you just can't. It's and like I an also, oxymoron. I also support cats seeking um, self defense training <laughs> for the permanent record. I'm all in on the cursing. I just don't think you can say "grow up" before you curse someone with diarrhea. That's just a personal preference. I like using next door to talk to your dead grandmother's ghost. <laughs> right? Yes, that's the perfect forum. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. This person writes vandalism. This is the second time in a week that someone has put cheese on my car. <laughs> Someone in this neighborhood is a failure as a parent and raised a piece of garbage that can't respect other people's property. <laughs> I will be filing a report with the police. <laughs> Anyone that thought this was funny when this happened last time can just refrain from replying. I won't tolerate your acceptance of disrespect. <laughs> and it's a slice of Kraft American cheese on the windshield. I, She's the crankiest old bitch in the whole neighborhood. I saw on Twitter that uh on black twitter people wrote white people call the police like it's customer service <laughs> <laughs> it's so true it's so true i would like to make a report that someone put american cheese on my car okay great we'll send the whole unit out we'll to canvas the we'll area. send the captain out crime scene i mean we'll get everybody on it like who gives a fuck take the cheese off move on down the road it's unbelievable, it's unbelievable. especially on this next door app it's full of it's there's a lot of racism peppered in and that's always white people. I am going to press charges. Call I am going to call the police over something that is not criminal. <laughs> right. Cheese abuse. Right. I mean, it's just like no judge, no cop. No, but they're not even going to come out there. Except take the cheese off, get a wipe, right. wipe it off, move on down move the road. Move on down the road. I mean, it's just not that hard. What a pussy. What a pussy. Okay, here's one. Women, please get off my computer. Hello. Recently, when browsing the internet, I have noticed multiple hot single women in my area who want to meet up. While I do appreciate the support, and back in high school, I was quite the ladies' man as captain of our racquetball team, I am now a happily married father of three lovely children and four grandchildren. So kindly. I ask you to please leave me alone and let me browse the internet in peace. Thank you. I mean, he is just delusions of grandeur right there. I mean, he thinks he's so hot. He thinks an ad. Right, a public service announcement. That pops up for meet locals in your area, which is a paid advertisement. Right, it's about how cute he is. Are all of these women <laughs> who personally want to meet him. Hacking into his internet. Right. Hacking his internet because he is such a hot piece of ass. There is nothing really more hysterical than boomers on the internet. It really is funny. Do we think he's a boomer? Yeah, he has grandkids. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, it's real. like I struggle sometimes with the internet. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I'm a Gen Xer. I get what's going on. But there is a boomer deficiency right. on the internet consistently. You know, that 
that these people just kind of walk into it. That'd be like me coming in and going, Kylie, oh my gosh, George Clooney and Brad Pitt. I mean, they're all over me. They will not <laughs> leave me alone because they're like advertising something. It's the same thing. Okay, this is a question for Pump's attorney at law. Oh, God. Can I sue my beekeeper neighbor? (laughs) Every day I see my neighbor's bees flying around my garden, stealing the pollen or nectar from my flowers. Then the bees go back to my neighbor and create honey. My neighbor then harvests the honey and sells it at the market for profit. I have never received so much as a jar of honey as compensation. And every day my neighbor's bees trespass and steal my flowers. Oh, my God. I was stung once when I was a child, so I know how dangerous bees can be. (laughs) The way I see it, this is equivalent to a person's dog coming into my yard to steal balls or tools, then gives it back to his owner to sell for profit. (laughs) Do I have legal ground to sue? What types of things should I begin documenting in order to prepare for the legal battle? (laughs) What would be a fair settlement amount if my neighbor doesn't want to take this to court? Thanks for the help. I mean, are we going to assume that person's legitimately serious? But okay, so let's let's talk about it. So you're this is your client, right? Okay, so what what's your legal strategy here? Get the world's biggest fucking retainer on the planet. <laughs> That's my legal strategy. That is, just build the shit out of it. Build the shit out of it. Because you know you could paper the shit, shit out of I that I mean, thing. I'd write letters to the neighbor, the city. I mean, everybody would get, get a an bee expert in, a honey expert right. in. Yes. Uh huh. I mean, black still- market honey expert. <laughs> Export, exporting to foreign countries. Exactly. Ex- I mean, like, yeah. there's so yeah. many things I would Mail do fraud, with- wire fraud. <laughs> Let's get the bees on death row. Racketeering. What about all the bees on a racketeering charge? Yes. Yes. We're going (laughs) to sue the bees. I think I'd probably say just get a net and just put it over your plants. I mean, it's just not a hard fix. Right. But yeah, she's got bee. She's documenting though. She is. She's probably taking pictures out there. It is 1202 and her bees are taking my pollen. (laughs) Okay. So here is a uh, post that was posted during COVID, during the quarantine. Okay. Jerry posts, just a thought went out and about. When you do have to be out, please consider your dress. This might take a bit of effort, but let's avoid the temptation to go out in our PJs, house slippers, grub clothes. You don't have to dress to the nines, but maybe consider clean, neat, casual clothes, (laughs) maybe some brighter colors and fun designs. It will make you feel better and also those around you and consider the same at home. Don't fall into the not showering. Men, don't skip shaving, even if it's just every other day. Women, maybe do a bit of makeup and consider not being in your PJs all day. Just because we are experiencing a crisis doesn't mean we have to be slobs. (laughs) He's thought about it. He likes the primary colors. Maybe tips for living. Throw in some fun designs (laughs) on your outfits. Ladies, don't forget to put on a little touch of makeup. Touch of makeup. No two days without shaving. Here's the thing. I'm guilty of all that shit outside of COVID. I'm not scared to run with no bra up to the store real fast or anything. So, well, I remember you would like walk into the gym and pick up your kids and you'd be in a robe. No, that was drop off. Drop off. I would always. Oh, drop I'm, off. I'm sorry, listener. It wasn't pick, pick up. up. It, it was, was it was off. drop off that she walked into the school in a robe. Yeah. I mean, if I had to, I would. I, I, I don't not, care. Not pick up, but, but it was drop off. <laughs> I graduated okay. into a no bra t shirt. That makes it up. okay. The <laughs> drop off. Don't you see the. The drop off. I, I'm sorry, I even brought it I'm up. I'm just glad she clarified. Yeah, right. and I would go to little convenience stores. I mean, just right in in my robe. Or is that for a drop off or a pickup at the convenience? That was store? after drop off. After drop off, and then just go ahead and run right in the convenience store in the robe. Right. Yeah. But you wouldn't have done that on a pickup. No, not on a pickup. Not on a only a drop off. Only a drop off. I've had it, listeners. <laughs> Please note acceptable to run around in robe and or PJs when you're in the drop-off phase of right. the day. If you're, pick in, up. if you're in the pickup phase of the day, we're going to go with what Jerry suggests here and consider <laughs> clean, neat, casual clothes, maybe some brighter <laughs> colors and fun designs. Women, just a touch of makeup and men, make sure you shave at least every other day. Right. That's for the pickup mode. Right. But when we're heading to drop off, it's a fucking free ball. That's right. It's, it's just, eat what you kill. You're wearing robes, no bras, titties hanging out, sagging dragons going from here to there. Everywhere. That's right. Right. 
All right, Kylie. Okay, a woman posted, apologies to anyone who might have just witnessed a lady running down an alley in her underwear yelling, (laughs) baloney. (laughs) My dog escaped and I panicked. (laughs) Okay, listener, I have a... uh, experience of this with pumps. So when she didn't live in the suburbs, when she lived a few streets away from me, I would go to her house a lot more frequently. And this is when, before Scout ran away from home and she had the wolf and Scout and um, they would get out and she would be, I mean, sometimes just like in like real short shorts and a tank top with a boob that kind of just (laughs) flopped out the side of it, kind of like a long arm tank. You know what I'm talking about? Or a robe. Or a robe, but a long arm tank with a boob that if you're running the, I remember one time I was in your front yard and you've got a piece of chicken and you've got on this like muscle tank that has a real long arm slot and these little short shorts and you run out and you're like, Scout, Blaze, come get chicken. Come <laughs> get chicken. Forever. Come get chicken. Right. And this, the boob, the, the tank had kind of moved over and I'm standing in the driveway <laughs> and I've got this, you know, laser pointer directed straight at me, chicken waving in the air. And I thought, you know, what's so refreshing about you <laughs> is you just don't give a fuck. No. There's no way that you would ever go into a neighborhood app and apologize never for shouting "Come get chicken topless <laughs> <laughs> with major side boob yeah and 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 the, and again, this was probably in the drop off era of the day. <laughs> I doubt that this would happen it was in the all evening because blaze can open doors, and Scout encouraged that, I think I do. I'm blaming everything on Scout because Blaze is perfect now. Okay. Didn't did did Blaze or did Blaze not go through a period of Oh no, he still does incredible open the doors depression. And incredible depression. About Blaze Scout leaving? Yeah. No. Bullshit. No, you he are did a not. lying like you told me that Blaze was absolutely depressed. Maybe I've blocked so that sad. out. Oh, if I told, told you, I believe I said you told it, me but I don't multiple remember that. Times that he was sad. Been, yes, that Blaze has been so depressed he mopes around the house. No, he's, but here's what you've done to his trauma. You just picked up the rug <laughs> and swept that trauma right under it and then just rolled it back down and pretended like yeah, nothing's happened. And I'll tell you that. what, that never sounds good at family week later in therapy. <laughs> Parents that do this to I'll their with, children, I'm telling you, it doesn't age well. I'll, I'll be with Tiffany and her martial art cat. We'll be at the animal family week. All right. All right. I've got one here. Contractor. Linda posts this. Contractor. My ex-husband is a great contractor, David. She mentions his name. Joshua responds, looks like he got out of the contract he had with you. (laughs) (laughs) Linda responds, not funny. (laughs) Linda's wrong. That's hilarious. Well, I think we've learned a lot today on this. But the biggest takeaway, listener, the biggest takeaway is the times of day that you can get away with wearing pajamas publicly, flashing titties publicly, (laughs) and then when you have to be more buttoned up. So to any mothers or fathers out there, when you're dropping your kid off at school, go ahead and just wear your pajamas. Right. Because you're in the drop-off mode of the day. Right. When you shift to the pickup portion of the day, that's when you need to have a little bit of makeup, maybe a fun design in your outfit (laughs) per Jerry. (laughs) Per, per Jerry, per Fashion Jerry King. from the next door app, a little bit of fun design, maybe a bright <laughs> color, throw on a touch of makeup. And then it's also completely acceptable at any time of the day. If you are trying to get your pet back inside and you don't have any clothes on, by all means, just go ahead and run out butt naked, <laughs> which I totally support because you've got to get the animals secure. I love that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> screaming baloney. <laughs> that was your life. Yeah, I was doing chicken though. Screaming chicken. Come get chicken. Come get chicken. Do you come still chi- do that to Blaze? No, I just let him get himself back in because he can get himself in and out. So I just, if he gets out, I'm just like, he'll come back and he comes back about five minutes. Peruses around, you know, does his own thing, lets himself back in. Okay. Yeah. All right. So my dogs went outside. I would probably be one of these people that called the police. <laughs> Running down in your underwear, screaming baloney. 
<laughs> totally. For, my dogs are such titty babies, though. They would never run away. Yeah, no, our, he stays right in like our yard, just right there. Well, listener, this has been a very fun episode. We love. Super fun. Next Door app is gold. It's gold. I love hearing how crazy these people are and just what they, 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 they actually sit down. And I would say probably the majority of the time, stone cold sober. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing this fucked up. And post this on the World Wide right, Web. Right. They're cheese offenses, new criminal. They're calling the police stone cold sober. <laughs> Over cheese violations. Yeah. And all that other shit we did in the last episode. It was like, I'm calling the police. Right. About their Wi-Fi name. You know, everybody's (laughs) calling the police. You know, you know, what would be interesting to have on this podcast is like a 911 operator. Ooh, that's a great idea about world's stupidest 911 calls. Yes. And then like, like maybe the um, non-emergency police line or, I mean, or just the police department receptionist. Right. That's a great idea. Because don't you know, it is just all day a jet stream of nothing burgers. Right. Come arrest someone for cheese on my vehicle. It's uh-huh. a huge violation. Well, listener, please go to our bios and our socials and click the tour and you can see if we are coming to a city near you. Go to Apple and leave us five stars. Um, you might want to mention in the five stars what what how great it was to have an attorney on the <laughs> podcast today up. yes dispensing free legal advice to to these i mean i'm sorry but there is some flower rape going on by these bees <laughs> absolutely she needs to be compensated so many violations they're hustling those flowers yeah and profiting off of her flowers what what's her remedy it's a great question i can't wait for you to take this case to like <laughs> i guess supreme I bet, court i bet judge wapner's dead but I, judge judy she's still doing it isn't she's she? still yeah i want to be judge judy that would be the best job on the oh, planet oh you would crush being judge I would judy crush it you would be so good at being judge I would. judy i would be so good at it judge pumps da 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 all right listener we'll see you next tuesday or thursday 